Education is the heart and soul of the Sanvia brand as we stand before you for the love of education. Whether it's through live education or maybe through social media, we're always trying to make a personal connection with you, the learner. Our contributions in education will be our legacy in this age. At Sandia, our smile is our logo and our personality is our business card. And how you feel when you walk away after an educational experience is our trademark. The heart of Sandia is education. Join our journey, my friends, and we will change your life behind the chair. Hello and happy Monday to you all. So happy to have you here on Mannequin Monday. Pop into the chat where you're watching from so we know where in the world you're at. We've got a great show ready for you today. Um, we do have an awesome, awesome event coming up August 12th and 13th in Los Angeles at the L'Oreal Academy of Beauty Pro Lab. Sammy and the entire art team are going to be there te teaching you cut and finish. And there is some awesome early bird deals going on right now. So don't miss out on that early bird pricing. Head to sambia.com for more information on that. And if you are looking for some hands-on education, of course, you can always bring the Sambia team into your salon, hands-on. There's tons and tons of opportunity there. You can head, again, to sambia.com backslash education. And if you do love Sambia tools, you can actually earn money by using those tools. You can join the Sambia affiliate program, which gives you a 20% commission for each product that is sold with your code. But the cool thing is, is the people that use your code get an additional 10% discount. Now, 10% discount is on top of already discounted prices. So a really great opportunity for you and the people that use your code. So today, we have the awesome Anna Peters. Anna's been in the industry for close to two decades and spent 11 of those years as a Redkin educator. She is now a Sanvia uh, art team member who specializes in color, bridal styling, editorial and finishing. She's also the salon owner at Retreat Color and Hair Design Studio, which was nominated for Best Salon in Central Valley for four years in a row. So she's pretty cool, I guess, you know, based on that. We're pretty lucky to have her. So in the comments, please welcome the awesome Anna Peters. Hey, Good Anna. morning. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. It's so good to see you, Andrew, and all so of these wonderful too. people. So today we're going to be talking about ponytails. It's hopefully going to start heating up around here soon. Over in California, it's still a little cool. It's a crazy year for us, but... Um, Ponytails definitely start coming out hot in summer, and so we want to share how to dress up that ponytail, how to create the perfect polished ponytail. So if you ever have a bride come in who is wanting a ponytail for her big day, I mean, that ponytail has to be elevated to the highest level for her, her special day. So I want to share with you some tips I've learned from other amazing artists. We don't come up with all this stuff ourselves, you guys. A lot of the time, we're learning it from other artists. And so it's so um, important to constantly be educating yourself and growing your, your skill sets and your toolbox of what you could create. So I was honored and so happy to be able to take a class from Sharon Blaine, the Sharon Blaine. Um, recently in Las Vegas and there were some really amazing tips and tricks that she shared that I wanted to share with you all today. Um, but I want to just start with where to place the ponytail. This was something that was so cool once I, I heard this and um, depending on where we place the ponytail really can change and alter the feel of that look and even the age. So when we talk about a chic or a sleek, um, maybe sophisticated type of style, when we're working with a ponytail, you're going to want to keep that 
a little bit lower on the head, down towards the nape. And that's going to really help to create that type of feel for a more sophisticated, chicer, more elegant type of style. When we move that ponytail up to the middle of the head, we can start to see that this type of look becomes where the hair is coming straight back away from the face. This becomes a little bit more of a sporty type of ponytail. So depending on where your client's headed, you could start to lower or elevate that ponytail to really fit the occasion. So this is gonna give you a more sporty type of look when it's sitting directly in the center back. This hair is all coming straight back and you'll have that ponytail sitting there. And then for a more youthful look, we're going to go all the way up and we're going to elevate that ponytail even higher. So think of cheerleader, younger girls wearing their ponytails higher. So lifting that also gives a lift to the face. Depending on how tight you make this, you can even give your client a little mini facelift as well. So this is definitely gonna promote youth. Um, the higher that ponytail rises, and you can just really start to see on this mannequin head, the effects of those three different elevations of the ponytail. Very Barbie-like looking, right? A lot younger for that younger clientele or that client that's trying to feel a little bit younger. Just lift that ponytail up. It's going to um, stretch this area of her face and just give it a nice little lift as well. All right, so when, once we figure out where we want this ponytail to sit, we can start to um, determine the texture that we want this ponytail to have. And hello from London, nice to see you. And Ireland. All right, so we're gonna determine, do we want this to be neat, very tight and sleek, or do we wanna see some texture, some dimension coming in there? I had a client I was doing a trial on um, the other day for her big day, and she said she wanted texture and she wanted it to be more three-dimensional. A lot of the images she was seeing of hairstyles um, out there, she felt like were very two-dimensional. So I love that, and that was such a clear way for me to see what it is she's really looking for and how to create that look. So that consultation with our client is so crucial in finding out how do you want to feel? How do you, if they're saying, I want to feel um, younger, fresher, then you're going to elevate that ponytail. If they're saying, I want to feel, um, you know, more athletic or sporty, this is a sports event they're going to, maybe a golf fundraiser or something like that, then we know that we can drop that ponytail to the center for a sportier look. And then if this is some, um, you know, museum, art gallery, a fundraising, formal event, we can drop that ponytail down lower and get a, a little bit more sophisticated, chicer look. All right, so any questions so far? I really want to make sure that you guys get the most out of today. So we are going to answer any questions you have, or I am going to. Andrew could too, actually. <laughs> but um, any Pony questions? Are not my thing, lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, any questions you have pertaining to styling today or ponytails in gen in um specific, then let me know. So I'm just going to start to separate this hair from front to back. And we're going to start doing a directional blow dry. So doing a directional blow dry is going to help us get a really 
sleek, smooth look on our ponytail. And sometimes, I'm sure you all have experienced this, as you're moving the hair up, you are battling bumps along the way, right? Drop a heart down there if you have experienced battling bumps with your ponytail. This is going to be the solution for you, and that's going to be determining first where you want your ponytail to sit. Do you want it to be high? Do you want it to be centered in the back of the head, or do you want it to be low? Yes, Tanya Bobs, thank you. Um, so in this case, we're going to move it up high because I want to show you how to really get that directional blow dry up higher. Um, this can sometimes require two people um, to, to really help with this, but I'm going to show you a little shortcut. So we're going to determine this is where we want our ponytail. I'm going to take a little horseshoe shape of hair. And I'm going to just tie that off with a clear elastic. No crazy tricks here, just creating a tiny little ponytail where, where I want all the hair to move to. And this is going to be my point of reference while I'm doing my directional blow dry. And everything is going to move to this point of the head. And so we're gonna start with the hair moving in the back. And we're gonna use our Sambia Proionic Light Blow Dryer with our air concentrator on. And this will move any direction you need it to. This is going to be your best friend. So this is going to really direct that hair right where you want it to go, eliminating any type of um, hair blowing all over the place out of control. I also have in our continuous spray water bottle some thermal spray. So this is a little tip I picked up from Sharon Blaine where um, she used this, the continuous spray water bottle for her thermal spray product. And I thought that was just genius because a lot of the time those just spit right out and you get like little wet drops of, of product. That's awesome. Hey, Isn't Tanya is asking you if the placement of that center back, the ponytail, mm -hmm. the mini ponytail. This is going to be on the top of the head. So here's her face. So this is going to be, yes, and it's just centered right on the top of her head. Thank you for that. So we're going to go through and we're going to be misting the root area, the first inch of, of this hair. When we are styling hair, the first thing we need to focus on is the base of the hair and the direction we want that to go. So the base is this first inch of the hair. That is going to determine the volume, the direction of the style and where the hair is moving. And if you can really take control over that, then that's going to help in making your style come together so much easier. So I'm going to have her just tilt her head down and we're going to start back from the top section here. You can use your comb, you can use your nine row brush, anything that's going to give you tension or you can even use your artist series paddle brush. I'm going to go in right now with our comb just so you can really see up close detail here. And everything, like I said, is going to be going to that high point. So I'm going to be blow drying right there and just working my way around the head. And just bringing that base of the hair strand straight up to 
to where I want our ponytail to land. But you can see how this concentrator on this blow dryer is really going to help me. So really what we're doing is we're re-wetting the hair, softening the bond, stretching them into the direction that we want it to go, and then they're going to cool and set in that way. So all you have to do, you can even just do it with your hands almost, it's so easy, is just pull that hair straight up to that ponytail, and it's going to be so much easier. So just using the spine of the comb to really just get in there and lay that hair straight and flat against the head. Just working my way up. And using that nozzle to really help me. And just draping that hair over that little ponytail that we created as our guide. This is a great trick, Nancy, for callus. So if you do have a callus that you're battling, wetting the callus with, I love working with thermal, thermal spray instead of water, because it's building in that heat protection along the way and some control where water is just going to make it wet and not give it any control. Using a thermal spray to dampen that face. And then you can just cross combs that palette. So you can go back and forth to confuse it, or you can try going just the opposite way, explain, and that will really help. So you can see just getting that hair all the way down from the nape, and it's all just moving up and over the head to that high point where we place our first mini ponytail as our guide. Sorry for all the noise, but it's actually quite quiet, this dryer. I love it so much. I work with this every day in the salon behind the chair. This is my favorite. It's very lightweight. This is our new sea smoke color that Zambia came out with and I absolutely love it. So gorgeous. And um, it's so nice on your body. I've been doing hair for 18 years working on clients and um, it's unbelievable how nice that dryer has been for my body and my shoulders. I can honestly say I have zero pain. So you can see this will just come together. Now I'm working with our Sam Via Artist Series Styling Brush. Just going through, combing this hair straight up. And look how beautiful and easy that is to get that hair moving in the direction you want. So now I just joined the top ponytail. And I'm gonna spin her for you to see. I just joined that top ponytail right into my hand that's holding all of the hair. Okay, so we're gonna just have her sitting straight up for us. One more comb through, making sure I get all of that hair. No tangles. And then there's two ways to tie it off. Well, I'm sure there's more than two ways, but I'm gonna show you two ways. And depending on what you're wanting to have as the end result, it's going to determine which one you need to use. The first way I'm gonna show you is by placing two hair ties, two clear elastics with a bobby pin on each side. You can just see that right there. 
From there, I'm gonna go in, and the way you hold the hair is the way the hair is going to end up staying. So right now you can see my hand is underneath, it's holding that hair up high. Would you agree? Versus if I held the hair this way, it's putting that hair downwards. So we're gonna get less volume by holding our hand on top, more volume by holding our hand underneath. I'm gonna just get a little bit closer for you over here. I'm going to go straight in with one bobby pin, bumpy side down to the scalp. Get this hair out of my way. And it's gonna go right into where that top ponytail elastic is. So it's gonna go straight in there. I'm going to hold that hair tight. And I'm going to wrap that elastic all the way around. Now we secured it with two elastics so that if one broke, we have insurance with that second one. And look, just one wrap around and that ponytail is now secured. And look at the lift that you get by just having your hand angled in that direction. So really nice pop. If you're trying to get a ponytail with a lot of lift, Remember the direction you're holding the hair. So just one more time in case you missed that. Holding the hair before you secure it with your hand underneath, like a candlestick here, is going to give you the most lift. If you're holding it from on top and you're securing that, your ponytail is going to be angled downwards and not have as much lift. All right, so from there, you can build the front into it in the same exact way. So you can do your directional blow dry, moving all of that hair back and away from the face. And I wanna show you one more way to tie that off. And that would be, let's just move this hair back for you so then you can see it. We're gonna now move all the front to the back, to this high point now. And this way of working by sectioning it front to back is really going to make it so much easier for you than trying to manage all that hair and holding it all in one, one hand. And if you are going to do that, you're gonna need a friend nearby to help you because it could get a little tricky to get a nice smooth ponytail on your own, tie it off, and hold all that hair perfectly where you want it to be placed. And turn her so she's forward for you. Just moving all that hair straight back. You would do your directional blow dry here as well. And then I'm gonna take our comb, really making sure I get down to the root area. So there's no little bumps happening. Switching hands is going to really help. So moving back and forth across the head, and if you can, switch hand positions to hold that nice and secure. The blow dry, Tanya has a question. The blow dry going back or forward? So are you talking for the front section? If so, that then we would be moving backwards. So everything is going to be moving to that first ponytail that you created as your your guide on the high point of the head so that's your visual guide tanya um, to where all the hair is going to be moving so if you're in the back it's moving forward you're on the sides it's coming up over the sides and then the front is moving back awesome so here we have just a blonde piece of cord um, that I'm going to hold this hair very tight. I'm going to wrap this cord 
end around my pinky. And this is where you would want your friend to be holding this hair up for you so you're not um, entangling that with the cord. This is going to come and wrap all the way around. And each time you wrap around, you are going underneath the last cord. So this is going to give you a really tight kind of facelift, super smooth ponytail when you're finished. All right, and then once you get a few wraparounds, come back to the front, and then you can tie it off. So it's gonna be really secure, really tight. And then you just cinch that down. One more tie. And then you can just cut those strings off. And I don't have my scissors, I just have these little like plier things. So I'm gonna just gnaw away at this real quick. <laughs> They work, you know, they're like wire cutters. Okay, and there you have your, your ponytail. So you can see the volume that you get by the placement of your hand. And obviously this is a really high ponytail, which type in the comments what a high ponytail will give you, what type of feeling for that look. If you remember from the beginning, we shared the different elevations of the ponytail and what's a high ponytail going to give us? Type that in the comments for me. Yes, Tanya, I love it, thank you. And then you can just blur like any line between front and back, there might be just a little bit. You could just go in with your comb and just marry those scenes together. All right. So I have here model number two, her best friend, and she is going to get a little bit more dressed up. So once you have your ponytail back, so we have the back done here, and we're going to do something fun now. So this is where we get to to start to create the look, the feel, the really like personalized touch for your client. So we're going to split. We have the hair from front to back already split. She has a high pony here. And then we created three sections in this front area. So these are from the outside corner of her eye is our first section. And that's coming straight back to kind of at a diagonal actually is how it's, it's flowing to that high point of the ponytail. Great, I'm so glad you love it. Thanks for sharing. I hope that what I'm sharing always is helping someone. I mean, that is our goal here is to enrich your lives behind the chair and help you get the results that you're wanting. So um, it really is so wonderful to hear when you guys are um, getting something out of what we're sharing. It means everything. So I'm going to just clip this center section out of my way here. It's going to just come forward so it's not in my way. Just using our dry sectioning clips from Sambia that are so great to work with when styling the hair because they don't leave any hard lines on the hair. So you can see that there is this little clear, not clear, purple rubber strip there. That is going to be the little buffer that's going to really grip the hair nicely, but also Hold it to where you're not going to take it out and have those hard lines. That is the worst feeling when you're creating a style and you get that hard line in there from the clip or the, the iron. Okay, so I'm taking our first section on the right side of her head 
and turn her so you can see. This is just coming straight back. Straight back. She's got a little texture in her hair from her texture iron. And I'm gonna hold this hair right to where our ponytail, our first ponytail is hanging out. I'm going to take a clear elastic and I'm going to just place that right around the area of where our first ponytail is, the same distance back. But I'm just securing and tying off this side section. So a few wrap arounds. Notice I'm standing behind my section, just like I would if I was doing a braid. You're gonna always be standing behind your section. I'm holding this hair tight to where I want it to be. Moving to, and then I'm gonna come in, I'm going to split this section in two. I'm going to cross over, stretch, Put my fingers in, open that hole up, grab our first ponytail and slide this section over. So I'm going to pull through our very first ponytail. Let me show you what it looks like on this side. So it should look like this. So that side came over, crossed, and the first ponytail went through. From here, we're going to just cinch and tighten that section. You can see on the side how beautiful that movement is that it's creating and moving across to the other side. Now also notice the volume now is expanding from one side to the other. Look at all of this now is filling in this side. So we're gonna get a really full look. And I know that's a lot of the time the hard part with ponytails. They show us these pictures that are um, really beautiful full ponytails. And I know I have struggled before with creating that. And so this is going to help solve that problem for you and give your ponytail a little bit more interest and a little elevated. Awesome, wonderful, thank you. Okay, I'm so glad you guys are, you're digging this. Okay, so here we come, combing through our section, our next side, the other side, we're combing through, I'm standing behind where I want the hair to move to. So the hair is always coming towards me, not away from me. I'm gonna hold this section really tight, make sure I don't have any hairs from down below. I'm going to take another clear elastic, come in right above where my first ponytail was, our, our point of reference where we're moving all the hair to, and I'm just tying this off. Okay, and then what do we do? We go in, we split that twist in two, and you're going to wanna to twist the same direction as you did the other one. So the other side we twisted up, so this side we're going to twist up as well, and we're going to stretch that open, put our fingers through, and grab that center ponytail, pulling it through. Then once you're over here, don't let go, just cinch that up. Okay, we are creating width. I saw somebody write that. So look at how full this ponytail is getting. Look at what it's looking like from the top view. From the sides, we start seeing this beautiful movement happening. And then now we get to do the top section. 
So this is where you can determine the volume that you're wanting to have here. If you're wanting to have some more volume, which I'm so happy the big volume is coming back. We're seeing it everywhere. It's very flattering on almost everyone. Um, we can choose to work with some hair padding here to create even more volume for us. So I have, I'm gonna drop this down and I'll show you this padding I have. So this was just a sponge like this, a donut that I ended up cutting and you can unroll it if you'd like but I just love having it straight in here. All right, so we're going to take this little rectangle pad and we're going to just secure that down with a couple bobby pins. And we're gonna go straight down into that side and then straight down into the other side. All right, taking this hair back now. And over this section, we're going to do the same thing that we did with each side. So we're going to comb this hair straight back. Hello from Poland. Thank you for joining. All right, we're combing through getting all the tangles out. So one of the things that's so helpful when styling hair is to work neatly. So combing through your sections is going to eliminate any tangles that are gonna snag you up later on when you're trying to blouse the style out or create some, some texture and movement. A lot of the times that's where we get hung up and it could get really messy. So here I am, I'm going to secure this front section with the hair tie. And not too tight, you wanna be able to stretch and move this. So I'm gonna split this into two. I'm gonna come through here. I'm gonna twist, open that up so I can come in and grab all of our ponytails now. And I'm going to cinch that hair underneath. So from here, you can see we still see, obviously, our padding. You're going to just start to pull and start to cover, start stretching this hair out to start to cover that padding. Just bringing that down. You can see from this side, this hair underneath that was crossed is gonna come over and we're just going to start to blouse that across that padding so that it's all hidden. I used a dark brown pad, so you could obviously use a, a blonde one to match your client's hair. But I did want you guys to see it. So I, I went in with the darker one first. And as I'm doing this, I see we have a little snaggle here. So I'm gonna just come in with my ends of my bobby pin, pick up that hair, and just tuck that, grab that, and just tuck that right in underneath. Okay. Um, our ponytail is going to get nice and big. And then now let's really start to create some texture and dimension here through this front. So we have a lot of visual interest. Anna, did you? Yes. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> did you prep with any specific products? So the product I'm working with in our continuous spray water bottle, I've filled it with Redken's Thermal 11, which is a thermal spray for heat protection. And um, 
that is what I love to work with when doing the directional blow dry. So I'm building control at the same time. I'm wetting those bonds of the hair down. And then um, it's giving me that heat protection as well. Okay, so just doing some final touches here. We're talking today about ponytails and how to place them for different feels in your style, and then some different ways to elevate that ponytail. Working with the tail comb through here, I'm going to just make sure I'm covering that little hair pad, just fanning that hair out and over it. Remember, there's a lot of hair that is in this twist, so the more you keep playing with it, the better it's going to get. And really use your tail comb to help you kind of tuck hair away and out of the way. All right, so let's now look at what we have going on here. So we have this beautiful twisted kind of modern ponytail. It's got a lot of width happening, a lot of volume. But let's look at another way we can start to dress this up. So taking the hair that is here on top, splitting this ponytail basically into two sections, gently holding this hair and just combing through to make sure that there's no tangles. We can start to now pack this hair. So we're going to pack it to where um, it's like teasing and it's going to secure all this hair together so that we can then fan it out and spread it out in the direction that we're wanting. So going in with our tail comb pointed towards us, the teeth are pointed towards us, we're going to hold the hair tightly. Teeth are pointing up towards us and then just rotating back. Up towards us rotating back. And this is a really tight type of tease that you're getting where it's going to really help as you shape and mold this hair for it to not separate. So I'm just going to do that right through that area. And then using the Artist Series styling brush, I could just really gently brush over the surface of that section. This four bristle brush is so nice for styling because the bristles are really soft. So it's not going to dig in and pull out all of the teasing that you created. It's just gonna really softly smooth that surface. So from here, we can start to play with another type of twist or movement. So I just love building shapes. <laughs> Styling to me is something that is really architectural um, feeling. It's like building these structures and shapes, finding ways to make it feel secure and to hold up. So I'm going to take this hair here, I'll show you in the back. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to use just this really beautiful clip that we have here. So this is gonna really dress it up a little bit. That's going to be placed right here. But first I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to secure this with some bobby pins. So I'm gonna just go in and I'm going to just weave in and out this bobby pin and just slide that right into the scalp. And then I'm gonna do one the other way. I'm gonna just go straight in, weave in and out. And 
slide that right in horizontally. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Our ponytail is still, this is gonna still hang, so it still will have that ponytail vibe, but this is definitely elevated. Would you agree? Something she could wear to a formal event and have a really fun, interesting look. We have a right, question so if you could use a texture iron um, on this so that it didn't separate as much. You can. That's going to expand the volume for sure. Um, the packing is what's like what you would be getting from teasing the hair. So um, in the sense that it's knotting it all together, essentially, right? So it's it's holding that hair to where it is all gripped together. So from here, you could determine if you want to bring this in and secure this closing in that side. Right there with the bobby pin. And then on the other side as well. Great question though. I love using the texture iron and she has been previously textured. She's been through a few looks already this lovely model here. So she has some previous texture in the hair, which is what I love most about the, the iron is that texture just stays in there. It does not leave until you wash the hair. So it's something that's really going to benefit you if you're trying to get grip and volume in that hair. So here's a little modern take on a ponytail, but starting to give it some more visual interest. Sometimes we get a little lost in like, well, what else can I do with it, right? So if you're wanting to elevate that look, create something fresh for her. And then of course we need to dress up these ends. So we have multiple options here. We can work with our Two and one Marcel iron and wand. And we could go in and create some nice bend and movement through the ends. Or we can work with our sleeker. And I would love to use this in creating just those ruffle waves. So I can easily, oh, let me get untangled here. I can easily go through these ends and, and create a ruffle wave down through the bottom. Or we have our sleek, our double, or sorry, single waver. So this is our single waver from Zambia that has really helped in just creating those big glam waves. So in this section of the head, working with our length that we have here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to work with the single waiver just so you guys can all see how easy this is for us to create this, this big, beautiful wave. I do need to plug it in first and get this heated up. So you can see the heat settings here. We have 430 degrees. 390, 360, 320, or 280. So there's lots of heat options available. I'm gonna go to 390 because she has a really pretty blush color to her hair. I don't wanna fade that color. So when we keep our hot tools, um, our irons placed at a temperature of 392, as the highest, you're going to be protecting your client's color. Anything above 392 degrees is going to start to dissipate the color molecules and their color could fade really quickly. The single waver, you love it. Yes, I'm so glad. I do too. It's been so fun to work with um, on my clients and it's such a quick, fast way to get beautiful waves in. So again, before we start, 
We want to make sure we don't have any tangles in the hair. I'm going to section this. And here's a hot tip for you from working with the waver. And same with the texture iron too. The smaller the sections you take, the thinner the sections, the more visual dimension you're going to have. The thicker the sections, the less visual interest or um, I'm sorry, visual texture you're going to have. I'm just going to use my dry section clip, clip that out of my way. Our iron has stopped blinking, so that means it's hot and ready. I'm going to go in with my thermal spray in our water bottle for a nice, easy, even spray. Combing through my section before I place any hot tool in helps so much to give you beautiful polished results. Coming in, so here we go. As we close, my hand is moving towards the head and I'm rotating a little bit with my wrist towards me. That's going to help to eliminate getting any hard lines in the hair. And we're just going to compress gently. Slide that out. Look at that beautiful wave. Drop down to the next wave. Compress. Hold those ends and bring them towards the head. And then that's all. Next section, we're going to gently remove that clip. Look how it does not mess up my style by working neatly and using the right tools designed to protect our styles. Using the thermal spray and the continuous water bottle, taking this section, I'm combing through. Making sure there's no knots in the hair. And now going in with the single waver, sliding that in. My hand comes towards the head and my wrist turns the waver a little bit towards me. Drop that out, slide in at the next bump and create another wave. Gorgeous. Two sections done. Look how beautiful. You can see that separation happening and how easily those are gonna line up and we're gonna just bring those together. So first I'm going to place my comb, my um, barrette here. I'm gonna just open that up and just gently slide that in right on top of those bobby pins. Awesome. Okay, this is cool. Let's comb through this now. It's all nice and secure at the top. And we can start to see this beautiful texture that we get from that single waver. And any of those little hairs that are popping up, like right here, the ends of layers, Go ahead and go in with some spray and you can just kind of polish those out using the can and just bring those ends together. All right. Take a look from the back here, make sure we're Straight. Now that's an elevated ponytail. Would you agree? <laughs> All right, and we have so much texture happening from every angle here. This would definitely be a showstopper. All right, so we talked about 
the different directions in placing our hand for volume, whether our hand is straight up or whether we're holding the hair like this, hand is on top of the hair, we're going to get totally different results in how our ponytail is sitting when we're tying that off. We also talked about the placement of the ponytail. So this is a high ponytail. This is gonna give more youthful type of look. We have when our ponytails are sitting straight back in the center back of the head, that's gonna give us a more sporty, athletic look. And then when our ponytails are placed low at the nape, we're gonna have a more sophisticated, chicer type of style. And then from there, we just talked about how to tie it off, how to break it down and move that hair easily up into the point of reference of where you want that hair to sit. And from there, we took it to a whole nother level and started really elevating that with twist and texture um, to give your client something really special. So I hope that you guys all took something away from this work today and have fun creating ponytails this time of the year. I mean, it's the best time with all the weddings and all the special occasions. I hope that you took something away with from this class. For sure, Anna. That was, that was awesome. Honestly, even just as you visually took us through the three different positions of ponytails, that was that was such a eye opener and so simple and so basic. So awesome. love, love everything about this class. It was fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And Thank you. Time. If you guys didn't actually notice, Anna's supposed to be on vacation right now. So it's <laughs> extra cool that she set up and took the time to bring us some education this morning. So Thank you, Anna. Happy to. Love seeing all of you on here. Thanks for joining. Thank you, Sam, or Andrew and Sam, <laughs> wherever he is. But thanks for having me, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. Awesome. Enjoy your vacation. Bye. All right. And if you enjoyed that, what you're really going to love is that Sammy and the entire Sambia art team have a two-day class coming up at the L'Oreal Academy of Beauty, their pro lab. It's called the Cut and Finish Collective. This is August 12th through the 13th. And if you head to sambia.com, you'll find some information. They do have early bird tickets available, but that ends, I believe, potentially this week for early bird pricing. So if you want to join them, get hands-on with the entire Sambia art team. Make sure you don't pass up this chance. If you do want to bring the team into your salon for some hands-on education, you can head to sambia.com backslash education. The entire education catalog is there. This tells you how to bring the Sambia art team into your salon live and hands-on. And if you are someone that loves the Sambia tools, you can actually earn some money using the tools by joining the Sambia affiliate program. This gives you the opportunity to share your affiliate code each time the code is used, you get a 20% commission on that sale, and the person who uses the code gets an additional 10% discount on top of even discounted promotional offers. So this is a great opportunity for you, great opportunity for them. And as always, thank you all so much for joining us for more education right here on the Sambia channel. Don't worry, there's lots more coming. We'll see you soon.